Mark, uh, how and when did you find out you were coming up? Uh, found, la found out last night. Uh, Dick Scott, the manager, called me, told me the good news, and woke up this morning and headed over here, so I'm here now. Glad to be here. What do you think has been, you know, particularly going well for you at the plate this season so far? Um, just trying to make it as simple as possible. Trying to get my pitch and do damage when I get my pitch. Not trying to um, chase and because this game is pitches are trying to get you to swing at what they want you to swing at. And I've been patient, trying to uh, sit and wait for my pitch, and when I get it, don't miss it. Speaking of patience, what was the challenge, or was there a challenge, as you were having that type of production to, to not think too far ahead and, and wonder about if and when you're going to get the call and just kind of keep your head in the moment? Uh, it was no challenge, just some. Um, just focusing on what I can control and the little things. Just um, my time down there was just asking the coaches and the coordinators what can I work on to get better and just focusing on that and just waiting on my turn. Not really focusing on it too much. Just like I said, just trying to get better every single day when I was down there. What was the biggest thing you learned from your experience last season that you think will have you more prepared this time around at the big league level? Um. I feel like it's it's all the same game. Just taking day by day exactly what I was doing down there, just focusing on what I can control and um, learning from a bunch of great players we have here and um, asking them questions, asking them how I can get better and doing whatever I can to help this team win games. What, if anything, have the Mets told you about your playing time? Uh, haven't told me anything. What do you expect? Um, to be playing. Just to be ready. Your strikeouts, in particular, have been way down this year. Has that been a goal for you? Um, yeah, that was something I worked on in the off season, just with my hitting coach. Just uh, like I said, instead of chasing and swinging at pitches, the pitchers want me to swing at. I'm waiting for my pitch and not trying to miss it. Just put a good swing on the on the ball. That's Given, it. Oops, sorry. Given where the team is at right now, do you feel any pressure to perform right away and provide a spark for these guys? Um, no, I'm just gonna come out here and do my do my thing. Just come out here and play my game and see what happens. During the spring, Philly had mentioned how um, just the need to maybe improve defensively. But what has that process been like? You know, shifting through positions and just trying to make an impact in, in that facet of the game. Pretty good. Just. Um, like I said, I was down there um, focusing on what I can get better with. That's one of my biggest focuses on first and third base. And I feel like I, I've done a good job just trying to learn both spots and um, get some pointers on how I can get better. What is it like to be up here? Not just you, but also Brett's here, Francisco's here. What, what is it like to have all, kind of all three of you here? A, a good reunion. <laughs> Glad to be back with all of them. Um, so what's up and just went back to chatting like we were down there but same thing a lot of group of guys over here that i'm cool with and just glad to be back does that make the transition to this clubhouse easier knowing you got those familiar faces uh yeah of course just because i grew up in the system with those guys just seeing them back again was made me happy just to be back with them does it feel different than last september fall um Kind of feel like I have not, I mean, not that much experience, but I feel like I'm in a better spot. I feel like I'm a lot better than I was last year. So I'm confident with that. Where were you when Dick called you? Um, I was in my hotel room, about to go to sleep. So how long <laughs> after the game? Uh, like an hour, two hours. Yeah. Were you able to sleep after that? Uh, I slept a good amount. <laughs> I can't say the best, but I slept a good amount. Were you keeping track by any chance of how this team's offense maybe was performing, you know, over the last 20 games or so, and maybe t saying to yourself, hey, I could, you know, I can come in and, and do something here? Um, I was not really too focused on that. I was obviously keeping up with the games, seeing how they were playing. But like I said, I was more down there just trying to see how can, how can I get better.
Did you think the way you were hitting, Mark, did you think it, this day was going to come pretty soon? I mean, you were breaking pretty good down Yeah, I would, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I felt pretty good down there, so. You were confident the day would come, too? Pretty confident. More comfortable at third or first? Um, same at both positions. I feel the same because I honestly got the same amount of playing time in both spots. So, thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.